Good afternoon again, everybody. I don't know if you saw this at all, but we tried to start the show with these cubs, and then we had a small technical glitch, so you may or may not have seen them so far. Here we are in the Masai Mara with some cubs. We're a long way east of where Jamie's sitting right now, about two and a half thousand miles north of where Steph is. My name is James Henry, and Fergus is on camera today. We have Daniel in the back as our ranger and what we're doing today of course is going to be sitting with these lions and the lion cubs and hoping that they get up and start to play which I think they probably will do fairly soon and then they might suckle. I don't think the lionesses are going to go hunting. They ate a zebra two nights ago, and I think they're probably still full of that. But let's see what happens over the course of the afternoon. Please ask us as many questions as you'd like, especially the kids at uh, Frank H. Is it Frank H. Cox High School? It'd be lovely to hear from you. Of course, you're not really kids anymore. You're young adults uh, on your way to adulthood, an unfortunate responsibility, but you'll learn a bit more, more about that a bit later. So any questions you have about these cats, feel free to ask, and we'd love to hear from you. And for the rest of you, of course, you can use the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or the YouTube chat stream. This is the Black Rock Pride, three lionesses, two males that look after them around the place. We saw one of them this morning. He's lying in the deep shade somewhere away from here. Barrett, do you want to know the normal size of a pride? Well, I'd say in this area, somewhere between three and five females is the normal size of the pride, and their attendant offspring. Remember, males are not part of the pride. Down where Steph is in the Kruger, yeah, three or four lionesses is about the average size of a pride and their attendant offspring. When they get too much bigger than that, they tend to split up and go their separate ways, and eventually they form two sort of new prides um, that will come together and meet each other every so often, but then as the generations go by, they will become mortal enemies, as most prides who neighbor each other are. They have very exclusive territories. They won't mix with prides that are not within their own territories. And we really are very lucky to have these nine little cubs uh, to view because they are tremendously small, only about five weeks to eight weeks old. And so very special to spend this amount of time with them. Ava, you're wondering how long the cubs stay with their mothers. Well, the females will stay with their mothers until their mothers pop off this mortal coil. In other words, until they die. So the females stay within the pride into which they're born. So let's pretend that there are five females within this pride. If all of the cubs survive, well, then it's going to be a pride of nine fairly soon. The males will be tossed out of the pride by other males, normally around about the age of three or so. So the females will stay within the pride with their mothers and aunts, and the males will be tossed out when they're about three. Very sleepy little fellows. Ellie, you're wondering how often they hunt for food? Ellie, it really does depend on uh, what they've killed and when they've killed it. So these chaps killed a zebra two nights ago. I think what you'll find is that they'll go hunting again uh, if, mm, I'm going to say, if not tomorrow night, the night after that. But that said, if something comes past here, let's say a buffalo or a zebra wanders through here, doesn't realize there are lions underneath this bush, well, then they'll kill it and they will eat it too. So they are very opportunistic about killing and eating and so if they can you know they'll eat all the time or have something to eat all the time something sitting by that they can eat but they don't have to eat they wouldn't have to eat again for about another week Brian you want to know how many bones are in a lion I'm afraid I can't tell you Brian I have no idea how many bones there are in a lion um, I suppose we could work it out but I'm not going to try and guess um, <laughs> <laughs> I've even forgotten how many there are in a human body. I think it's somewhere around 144, isn't it? Um, I might be wrong there. But it'll be quite similar. Interestingly, most mammals have a similar number of bones in the body. Some have fused to form different kinds of bones. But uh, each kind of bone that's in a lion, you'll find it's kind of equivalent in a human being. But I've naturally forgotten how many bones exactly there are in a lion Oh, I don't think I ever knew that, but how many there are in a human being, I never really knew that. Ah, 206 bones in a human being, I've been told by the final control. 206 bones, and so in a line, I'm going to say plus minus 206. Can you believe the number? 
And apparently they're even more in a lion, 260. Amazing what the internet can tell you these days. 260 bones in a lion, 206 in a human being. Now, I probably won't forget that because they've got the same digits in them. Okay, 206 and 260, that's great information. So you'll find that a lion's probably got extra vertebra, uh, extra vertebra in the tail and, of course, in the back. And then while I work out where the rest of the bones might fit, we're going to send you back to South Africa and Steph. I think he's got something very large and I suspect in the heat there it'll hopefully be heading towards some water.